Hi everyone, today I'm going to be filming Ellie's updated nursery tour. This has been highly requested and a few things have changed now. This is obviously her door. So on the door we just got a little sign that I got when she was born. The first thing you see when you walk in is her rocking horse that she got for her birthday. And then above the rocking horse is this picture that she's had up all the time. Um, it's just, I made this, it's got a canvas and I just wrapped wallpaper around it like a wallpaper sample and I really like the colours in it and the prints with the floral and the butterflies and that's how I kind of wanted her whole room to kind of reflect on this little canvas and then on this wall again nothing much has changed I hope it's in focus still um, but we've got this bookcase here from Ikea and this was so cheap, I think it was like £12 or something. Um, and then I'll quickly show you what's on top of this. So this frame here, which has got all like Ellie's details and stuff, is one of my friends got that done when she was born, which I absolutely love. I think she got it done by someone on eBay. And then she's just got this little um, horse with a Swarovski diamond thing in it. This little princess photo frame a cat snow globe and this silver rattle with all her like information engraved on it. On the first shelf she's just got this crystal bear that my nan got her from Galway, this little Barbie doll with a little cat, I've had this since I was a little child so I thought I'll give her that and a little book that says love and wishes for my daughter, it's really cute little like quotes and stuff. And then this, which I absolutely love, one of my viewers made me this and I will leave her link down below. She does um, more stuff, she does like knitted hats and everything. But this is basically a personalised letter made out of crayons and I just think it's absolutely amazing. You can get multicoloured crayons or all pink or all blue. Uh, but yeah, obviously this is a letter E for Ellie and I originally wanted this on the wall and I was going to get her a little like... Um, kids table from Ikea but I don't think we've got the room at the moment so I might still do that and make like a little arts and crafts but this is just such a cute idea if your child is into arts and crafts or for their nursery so I'll leave all the links down below where you can get one of them and then the next shelf is a photo of Ellie when she was a baby and this photo frame is one of my favourites I got this from Ireland and this is a little ornament of my favourite Disney character, Marie. And I think it's like one of the Disney collectible ones. It's like a wooden collectible um, little figure. And then her little uh, brush. That is just so cute. It's got like a little teddy bear on it. The bottom shelf, I've got two of her memory books. So this is her first... Uh, it's like a record book. Uh, but this is her first one. And this one, which was a gift and I just love things like this and then we just have two of her little booties from when she was a baby so um, yeah that's what's on that shelf next to it we have I have so many people asking me where I got this I call it the tower because it's basically um, like a tower of drawers but this is actually a bathroom cabinet from Argos and I just use it for storing all her nappies and wipes and all her kind of bath accessories and it's just so useful and um, I really want to get one for my room as well to put all my like perfumes and fake tans and all that stuff so um, I got this quite a while ago so I'll try and leave a link down below on where um, like if I can find it on the Argus website but on top of it we just have her monitor which is the Motorola one and it's just facing her copped and then we have a money money box from next little cat um this penguin is actually a night light and it's so cute it's a perfect little gift for someone that's just had a little baby so i love that little night light and this butterfly lamp which we've had forever but i'm obsessed with butterflies and floral so there's going to be a lot of that in this room so yeah that lamp is from wilkinson's and then in the tower i will quickly show you what's in there the first drawer, um, there's not much because I actually sorted them out the other day so I got rid of a lot of stuff that we didn't need. But we just got cotton buds, her grooming kit, some sun cream, kind of like spare 
face cloths and sponges and some cowpole in there. A lot of her bath stuff is already in the bathroom, so that's why there's not a lot in there. Uh, this drawer is just full of um, nappies and wipes, and I stock this up every time we get low on them. So, yeah, that's what's in there. And then in this drawer, ooh, Tilly's come to see me. This drawer, I don't know if you're going to be able to see very well, but this is just full of nappy bags. Um, so there's just tons of nappy bags and like brand new ones. They're so cheap, so I like to pick up some every time I go to the pound shop. And then in here is a few travel items. So we've got a wipe case there and a travel mat and a little see-through bag for when we go away and I could put all our little travel stuff in it. So that's what's in that drawer. And then this drawer is all like backups and samples. So we've got um, at the back we have some baby shampoo. I hope that's focusing, sorry if it's not. Um, we have some baby shampoo and then we've got some like lotions here some baby oil and then these are like little samples of stuff so we've got like bath washes um nappy creams moisturizer a lot of nappy creams because i got a lot of them when i was pregnant and i'm honest to god if you buy a big tub of pseudo cream it will last you like a whole year uh, we've got some baby powder some you know, bottom butter, all stuff like that um, is in this drawer. So these are kind of like my baby toiletries. Here we have a rug. Again, a lot of people have been asking where this rug is from. It's from Darnelm and it's the teddy bear range. And it is the softest rug I've ever felt in my life. And it's in this beautiful kind of like dusty pink colour. Um, because I don't really like hot pink. Like this kind of pink I hate. But it's brilliant storage, so I just got it. But um, this kind of pink is my favourite. So, yeah, I will leave a link down below on where you can get everything I mention. And then, my favourite bit... Well, there's a couple of favourite bits. But the favourite bit of her nursery is this wall here. And, oh, it's just my favourite. When I walk up the stairs, this is like the first thing you see. And it just... I just love it. I always smile when I come into her room. So... I'm going to start off with the cot. This is from Babies Are Us. I've mentioned it in my previous nursery vlog. But this turns into a toddler bed. So like the rails come off and you can use it as a toddler bed and a single bed. And honestly, I think it was only £200 and it is such good quality. It's going to last for years as well and it came with a drawer underneath. So I'll quickly show you what's under the drawer. Um, this is the sleigh bed if anyone's wondering. But this drawer here, which pulls out, I just keep all her blankets and bedding in there. So, you know, just got a few blankets for like the winter. Um, there's like smaller and lighter ones and then thicker ones here. So that's what's in that drawer. So inside her cot, I absolutely love her new bedding. This is from a company called Izzy Whatnot and they specialise all in nursery stuff uh, from Moses baskets to bedding. So these two things here which I'm going to show you are from Izzy Whatnot and I will leave all the links down below but this cute little teddy which is a cat and if you know me I'm obsessed with cats and bunnies so this is just perfect and she has a little floral dress on and she's kind of like purple and pink and she's just adorable. So she just sits in Ellie's cot there and she's pretty big size as well for like a teddy so yeah. She just sits in a corner and then her actual bedding, which is a kind of like a quilt. It's like a lightweight quilt. So she also has one underneath, which I'll show you in a second. But this, um, I'm not sure what the range is called. I think it's called Fleur Cat or, or just Fleur. But again, I'll leave all links down below. But this is just so adorable and so me and it fits so well in her nursery. So it's just got like a little dog. And again, the same cat as the teddy bear and a little birdie. And then it's got like stripy detail. And then also it's reversible, which I love. So the inside is this floral print, which matches the cat's dress there. So yeah, I just absolutely love this and it's perfect. And also a little tip for these um, kind of quilts. These, these are really good if you want to lay your baby down if they're young. 
and um, you don't want to put them on like your carpet or your wooden floor these are brilliant to like lay them on and also I always put it in this um, teepee tent for her to have a bit more like comfort so yeah that is the kind of topper quilt that I use for her cot and then underneath if I just pull this back underneath is her actual quilt cover because it is quite chilly in the UK still it's not I know it's spring it's still pretty chilly at night in our house so this quilt cover is from Ar um, not Argos is from Asda and I will leave a link down below but I do know that they are out of stock at the moment so you might not be able to get this but basically it's just got bunnies all over it which I'm obsessed with um, I had to double this up because it's a I think it fits a junior bed which this actually turns into a junior bed but obviously it's a bit big for the cot at the moment but um, I just absolutely love it it's got hints of like purple and blue in it um, and little bunnies with bows on them and then that is the matching pillow so yeah obviously I had to buy the pillow and the duvet separate but this is the bedding for it so yeah I'll try and do close ups of everything as well so that is her cot and also the sheet underneath is by Next which is the Chloe Cat range so it's just kind of like a plain white with pink florals on it and it's a fitted cot bed sheet so that is her cot and then here we have her I don't know what these things are called mobile mobile uh, but again it's by the Chloe cat range from next and it's got little cats on it and yeah she really really likes this still she loved it when she was a newborn especially so that's what that looks like and then again a few people have been asking me what's kind of this on her wall like they didn't know if it's wallpaper or wall stickers but it's basically a um, you get a sheet of wall stickers and it's from a company that are in Brighton and I'll leave an annotation what they're called now but they are absolutely brilliant for wall stickers and they do a whole different variety of them like for boys rooms or girls rooms but this one I just absolutely loved and I had to have it because it just fits into a room so well but they're basically all different sizes of butterflies with all different kind of prints on them so some of them have got polka dots and like floral and purple and there's also dragonflies as well which I love so yeah I really really love this one as well and you get a lot like her whole wall is full of these stickers and they're so easily to easy to apply as well and to take off so I did originally want to get wallpaper but because this is not our property I thought wall stickers would be better so yeah I will leave a link where you can get them and then at the top is her canvas that she's always had and it's got her name written in Swarovski crystals with a big bow and again I'll try and do a close up of that but that's really pretty when the light shines on it okay moving on is a teepee tent which is next to her cot bed and it fits perfectly in this little corner and it actually goes bigger than this but I had to kind of like scrunch it up and um, but I kind of like it so this is from eBay, again so many people on my Instagram have been saying where did you get that? But it's from eBay and it was so cheap, I think it was 60 or £70 pounds and it was her one of her birthday presents. So yeah, it's just this beautiful like pink floral print with stripes. Um, and then hanging I have a few things, I got this uh, when River Island sent me a little parcel for Christmas and I just kept the letter E. And this is a little sign that says the most beautiful princess sleeps here. So I just love that. And I reckon she'll love it even more when she's older. But at the moment she's still going in it. She grabs her book from one of these little storage things. And she just sits in there. And honestly it's just the cutest thing. So on the bottom. Sorry if I'm talking so much. Um, on the bottom I have a like um, quilt thing here and it's again reversible so one side's got like a patchwork print and this side's got a floral print um, so yeah I've just got this for like comfort for um, obviously because we've got wooden floors so it's just nice for her to sit on and then we have a bunch of teddies and soft toys in here and again 
Um, this cushion here is from Easy Whatnots, and so it matches the bedding that I just showed you in the cat. And this is a little cat cushion, which is just so so cute. I love it, and it's really really soft and perfect for this little tent for when she comes in here and snuggles. So yeah, we just got a few like soft toys, Disney ones, and this is her first build a bear toy. Um, my favourite from the Disney. I don't know if you can tell that I love Disney, but this is Marie, and then bunch of toys probably gonna get really dark now but yeah it's just so cozy and eventually I want to get some like fairy lights and hang them so it's all like magical for her and again this size just got a load of teddies and then her what's this called oh I forgot what this thing's called pillow pet that's it Honestly, this thing is a lifesaver. Ellie absolutely loves this. And when we're downstairs, I also bring it downstairs. But it's basically a unicorn, which is just adorable. And it's so soft. And when you lay it flat, obviously, it's a pillow. It's great for travelling as well. And then you do it up. I'm not going to do it because you need two hands. But you do it up. Um, and it kind of scrunches into a little, like, teddy like that. So it's like two things and it's just a great, great item. I got that from Bean and Bargains. Um, but yeah, I just put her pillow pet in here when she wants to play. And then this side, I'll show you what this side looks like if I just back up. So this is kind of like her window area. And I'm going to start off with her window. So um, last nursery tour, she didn't have... The curtains she didn't have the tent and she didn't have the wall stickers so there's like a few things that I've added these curtains were so cheap they were just from B&M bargains and um, they're quite thin but they're also blackout curtains and they keep a lot of heat in and they're just this really nice kind of um, baby pink color so I really really like them they were again so cheap and then I've also kept up the um, kind of like netting curtains that came with the property because I thought if I have to take them down, it's just a nightmare putting all the curtains back up. So, um, and also it just, you know, gives a bit of privacy and stuff. So, yeah, I've kept them. And then also on her curtain rail, she's got some bunting. Um, I did want to hang this somewhere else, but I thought it was quite cute going along the curtain rail. So, this was from the range and it was £4, I think. Um, and I think they still do it, but it's just, again, got the floral prints and bits of blue and um yeah it's just really really cute it just adds a good touch and it's falling down a bit oh no it's just falling down so we've got a few teddies um that she got when she was like a baby and then this dream sign that she's had for quite a while and then that's from darnell if anyone's interested and then again a few more teddies and um, this one's from jelly cat range and this one's mother care when I found out she was a girl. So a lot of them have got like meanings to them. And then on the radiator here, love sign and it's got like a pink glitter heart. That was from the pound shop, I think. Um, and then we just got her radiator. And the this is her book corner, I call it. Um, and I did originally want to put a like bookshelf going up here, like on the wall, like shelf so I can put her books on it but like I said it's not our property and I don't want to start drilling holes and stuff in case we have to move so for now I'm just displaying her books on here but I would eventually like to do that so in this little storage box here which is from Argos and the same with this one this is from Argos and um, we just have a few of her books so we've got some paperback books and um, I really really love this one and some Christmassy ones these are kind of like random books um, and then we've got some stuff from like you know when you get them from magazines or if you go to a restaurant and they give you little colouring books I really like to keep them because I think they're handy for um, a rainy day or if we're travelling or something so yeah and then we've got a few books here stuff like this um, a little colouring book, I'm saving this for the aeroplane for when we go away. A little drawing book for when she gets a bit older and she wants to start practicing her drawing. Um, some more random books. 
um, Peppa Pig kind of magazine books. And then we've got some stickers for when she's a bit older and she's been a good girl. Some more books. Her favourite one at the moment, which is Peepo. And some Miffy books, which I've actually got a collection of. She absolutely loves these books. And then we just got some um, markers here. And all her other stuff like chalk and stuff is downstairs. Um, this little puppet book. And then we have a gift voucher for Build-A-Bear Factory. And some CDs down here. So like nursery rhyme ones and all that kind of stuff. So that's what's in that one and I don't know if you've noticed but there's no toys in her room and that's because I don't really like putting toys in her room because they just get so cluttery and her room just becomes a mess. So all her toys are downstairs and her big toys are in the spare room so yeah um, in here is basically all her soft toys and books and I really really like it, it keeps really neat as well. In this little storage thing, there are a few toys. There's like her ball pit and a um, like messy mat and all that stuff. That's all in that one. And then these are her little kind of favourite books that I like to display. And I don't know if you know this about me and Ellie, but she loves reading and I love children's books in general. So these are a few of my favourite ones. And again, she's got so more downstairs as well. So I'm just going to quickly show you a few that we've got. Um... Guess How Much I Love You, a mini storybook library, there's quite a few books in this little pack, um, a lot of these she got for Christmas. She's got one of her favourites which she's loving at the moment which is The Singing Mermaid by Julia Don Donaldson, um, she really loves that one. Behind that is a nursery rhyme book and a little book that says goodnight, this one is really really lovely. And um, we've got Peekaboo Sophie, it's like a flat book. Some more nursery rhymes, this is a really cute book for girls. And um, I got this in Ireland, it's got some lovely little stories in it. Um, Winnie the Pooh book, a lot of Dis you can see a lot of Disney now. Uh, Disney Princess Collection and it's also got like colouring and puzzles and stuff in that one from when she's a bit older. Despicable Me. Sleepy Kittens book. This came all the way from America. My, I'm obsessed with this film and my mum kindly ordered this from America and it's just such a cute little story and it's also got the little puppets. Dear Zoo, which is again one of her favourites. Little Mermaid, Disney and it's a really cute book. Disney Fairy Storybook Collection and another princess story. So as you can tell I like a lot of Disney and princess books. <laughs> then next to it is her little storage bag. This, well I wouldn't say little, it's huge. This is from my first years and I've done a review on this. And it's personalised, if you haven't seen it, it's kind of pink and floral. And it says Ellie's toys. And I just hold all her soft toys in here that can't fit in there. So she has a lot of soft toys, but these ones are kind of... Uh, ones that she plays with and that she finds really like funny like Elmo she's obsessed with this Elmo it's huge um, and there's like a pepper and her little doggy bags are in here so yeah that's a great little storage idea if you're looking for some nursery storage so that's what that wall looks like excuse the bunting <laughs> that I've pulled down and then next to the window we have her favourite, well, my favourite dress for her. I just can't put this away and hide it. I have to have it out. Um, but you've probably seen it a million times. It's from NYX. And, yeah, I just love it. And it looks really cute hanging up there. And then this, which unfortunately has run out of batteries, is a LED heart. And it looks super, super cute when it's lit up. I think it's in my old nursery tour. But I need to get some new batteries for that. This is kind of like the last section of her room. And this is where her wardrobe is. And we have like a mirrored um, door. And I'll show you what's in that. So this is what it looks like when the wardrobe's open. This is from Ikea. I can't remember the name of it, but I will leave a link down below. But yeah, this is what her wardrobe looks like. So I'll start off with here. This top shelf, we have all her hair bows, mainly from the Bow Boutique. And there's a few like ones that people have given us. But there is a lot in there. 
And then in here, I just keep her hair clips and hair bands for when she has a bit more hair when she's older. And then at the back, we just have a bunch of bibs. So that's what's in that set. So at the back, we have all her short sleeve t-shirts. So there is a lot of them. Um, so they're short sleeve at the back. And then these are all long sleeved. And these are all like jumpers. So there's not many jumpers to be honest. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I put all her tops and stuff. The next shelf is all her leggings and trousers. So at the back, these are all her like coloured trousers. So we've got like linen trousers, some combats, um, jogging bottoms. They're all here at the back. And then in this pile, all her jeans and like jean jeggings so there's just like a bunch of jeans here and um, some of them don't fit her so I have to go through it um, and then these are all her leggings let's push them back a bit so I've tried to organize them as well as I can because there's just so many but basically these ones here are all patterns so you know they've got floral or polka dots or stripes so these are patterned leggings these are all different coloured leggings so there's a lot of grey I don't know why she's got so many grey there's a lot of grey but all these leggings come with outfits well not all of them but most of them come with outfits so I didn't go out and buy a bazillion leggings um, but we just got like red, black these are the blue ones grey, a lot of grey some bright orange ones and some brown ones and then these are all her pink and white leggings so we've got dark pink medium pink, light pink, and then we've got like creams and whites. So yeah, that's how I store her leggings. And then down here we have kind of random stuff. We've got all her frilly knickers at the back that come with outfits. We've got some tops for the summer um, that are kind of like, you know, for around the house or the garden. We've got her little zip up hoodie that she's currently wearing. And these are her pyjamas here. So in here we've got everything that needs to be hung up. So all her coats, dresses, outfits. I would like to organise this a bit better. But I haven't got the time at the moment because Ellie just destroys everything. So that is everything that needs to be hung up. And then these are all her shoes that she's outgrowing. But I've got nowhere to put them. So if you've got any storage ideas on where I can put stuff she's outgrown then let me know I might just buy a big box and just put everything in but obviously these don't fit her but I think they're so cute and I don't want to put them away and then here we have um, a few like boxes and stuff this she got for Christmas it's got a little necklace in it these are all my scan photos in this little bag and um, some boxes shoe boxes um, and then some shoes, she's got her little Nike trainers, um, her Converse's, Ugg boots and slippers. And then, not much has changed to be honest in here compared to the last video. This is a kind of storage tower where I think this is so useful. If you're kind of stuck on ideas on how to store clothes for your child, then I'd recommend getting one of these and slotting it into your wardrobe because it's brilliant and um, the first drawer is all her sleep suits I won't be able to open it because there's so many in here but these are all out <laughs> these are all her sleep suits these are all her vests long sleeve and short sleeve vests this drawer is all her socks and tights so I just keep all her socks and tights in there and this one I can't open this one but this one's full of hats um, summer hats and also this hat here the lady that made this um, little picture thing there she also made this for Ellie which I love it's um, like an owl hat so I will leave a link down below and if you want to get one of them and here I'm not going to get all this out but this is basically all her snow suits and like dressing gowns and stuff like that so we've got her waterproof um, snow suit there um, another kind of Christmassy one and a Christmas dress there that's really puffy and I couldn't hang up. So yeah, that's what that wardrobe looks like. Section. So this box down here came with um, 
hairdressing gown that I got from my first year. And I love this box so much because you can store so much in it and there's nothing in it at the moment but I'm going to put all her photos and memories in there. So yeah, I've just got that box sitting there and then we've got her little backpack for when we go out. We've got her little kind of coat hook thing that's always been here and we've just got her my first year's dressing gown which she's still using and kind of like stuff to grab like if she needs that for when she comes out of the bath and this is her kind of um jacket oh god this is her little jacket that we tend to put her in like if we're rushing so yeah and then she's just got a little cute dress there from next that I really really like and just some other little bits on there got a lot of floor space still um which I really like so she can kind of do what she's got to do so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave all links down below on where you can get everything I showed you and I'll speak to you soon bye